back in time to the Dark Ages. Yes, this is Glendalough, Valley of the Two Lakes, famous for its monastic settlement. They say the round tower here was built to keep the monks and their treasures out of the reaches of those most feared invaders. Vikings. The Vikings struck fear into the hearts of the native Irish until they eventually acquired some manners and settled down. However, now the Vikings are back, but this time they're not plundering our monasteries, they're invading our television screens. Ashford Studios is home to the blockbuster historical drama series Vikings. Today I'm being given behind the scenes access. I want to find out how much of the series is fantasy and how much of it is based on the real thing. And above all else, I want to establish if I've really got what it takes to be a Viking. The series is based on actual characters and events from the early Viking age. It tries to portray them as real people, rather than two-dimensional villains as they're often depicted, as executive producer Morgan O'Sullivan is keen to point out. Uh, anything about the Vikings was always written by the Christians and was written in a very negative tone. Uh, the Vikings didn't read or write, so it was difficult to make them empathetic because of the Christian viewpoint. And the PR that went before us <laughs> wasn't very positive. So you, you, so you're telling me the Vikings got a bad press, so you are? <laughs> they really got a bad press. All right. what, what, what were their redeeming qualities, do you think? They had their gods just as much as the Christians had their gods. They believed us intensely. So they had a core and a discipline within their ranks that was quite kind of unique. Uh, that's not to say they weren't bad guys, they were bad guys. They were tough dudes. And they were tough dudes, as yeah. you said. In the family folklore, we always believed that the Credans, not unlike the Vikings, were broad in the beam and that we perhaps had a drop of Viking blood. So as I'm here, do you think I might be able to take the opportunity to become a Viking for a day? Well, we have a wealth of talent here to yeah. fit you out, or I think you'll do pretty well. First things first, if you want to feel like a Viking, you got to dress like a Viking. I think I'm finally starting to connect my inner Viking, huh? What do you reckon? With my gear sorted, it's time to hit the hairdressers. D, is it? How are you? Yeah. Great. How are you doing? I want what to be a Viking. Have? Well, you have the bill for it. Yeah, well, what I need now is the hair. Well, you sit yeah. down there, I'll oh, see you. Oh, I feel a bit like Braveheart's granddad. My next appointment is with Vikings makeup artist Tom McInerney. How much do we actually know about the Vikings and, and how they looked? Well, it's a 10th century document written by the emissary to the Caliph of Baghdad at the time. But he described them as being tall as, oh, he said, perfect human specimens, tall as date palms. And he, he would describe that both men and women wore eyeliner to uh, emphasise their beauty. That looks good, yeah, I like that. From that one description, from a 10th century document, we make our leap with our Vikings. The transformation is complete. Behold, Jan Credonson. I may look like the real thing, but I want to sound like the real thing too. What has happened to our people? While most of Vikings is in English, from time to time the actors speak in actual ancient languages. Dialogue and performance coach Paul Mosolides is the man who makes that happen. Paul, do we know what language the Vikings actually spoke? Norse. It would have been something very similar to uh, Icelandic as it is now. Whenever we meet new cultures, 
we tend to go into their languages. So when the Vikings first go to England, the Vikings meet the Anglo-Saxons and they're both speaking different languages. And it's great because you get this tension and this disconnect between the two cultures on top of the whole storyline. So occasionally we get emails from around the world, you know, professors in different universities, their jaws literally drop open because they can't believe we're actually speaking the languages as they were. I'm just starting to think I look like a Viking. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like a Viking. I think it's time I spoke like a Viking. Yeah, I think that would be great. So what would you like to say? Would you like to say um, I'm going to kill you? Oh, I'd love to say that. Okay, so, so uh, in, in Viking, that would be Yek mun drepathig. Yek mun drepathig. Mun. Mun. Yeah, Yek mun drepathig. Yek mun drepathig. Right, I've worked on my old Norse. I've rehearsed my line. It's time for my close-up. Yek mum Right, where are the lads gone to? 